Not too sure if my other version of this video is up, but who cares. Today we're going to be looking at the top 5 Obi-Wan Kenobi's voice actors. So maybe DICE could use these, or one of these, for the Chrome Wars era content this fall. Number five, Ewan McGregor. Now, this person is the real person who has played Obi Wan Kenobi prior to Phantom Menace to Avenge of the Sith. But what is new about this is that he did voice Obi Wan Kenobi for the tiny bit of the voice in The Force Awakens, which is quite nice. It is. I understand that they will never actually get this guy. They could, because they have got other, like. <laughs> I'd say Lego got Harrelson Ford to play Hans, the old Han Solo in that Lego game. So if they can do that, I, can't, I just don't understand things. But go along with you this time. Be mindful of your thoughts, Anakin. They betray you. You've made a commitment to the Jedi Order, a commitment not easily broken. And don't forget, she's a politician, and they're not to be trusted. Padme, I need... Number four, Lewis McLeod, whatever. Um, so this person has voice over on Kenobi. The one of the newest ones that he has done is Star Wars Galactic Battleground, which was, I think it was back in 2002 or 2003. But one that was most popular that he is basically known for is Star Wars Obi-Wan based on The Phantom Menace, and fun fact, this actor was also in The Phantom Menace film, um, also. Um, he hasn't voiced Obi-Wan Kenobi in quite a while, he does do Star Wars games, but this one, they could use. Everything has been quiet, Master. Nothing unusual to report. Are you sure my presence here is necessary? Yes, Master. There is an Elcar transport station nearby. Seth Green. Now, I think Seth Green is one of those people who is like you and McGregor. That if so, it could be a possibility. I don't know. But one of the things that is newest is the Robot Chicken and also Star Wars Detroit, which apparently again is on post productions for 2019. Even though there are little things out there, little clips on YouTube, um, I don't really know if this is ever going to come out, but. To Stephen Stepon. Now, one of the newest ones that he has done for like Kenobi was Star Wars Rebels and then also Disney Infinity 3.0. Now, he's the voice actor for Ben Kenobi. It could be a possibility they could have a legend skin, but that is a whole separate list for like the top five Ben Kenobi because they're two different voice actors in two different things. But if so, he could voice over on Kenobi because they're. Honestly, there's always a possibility with a voice actor.
You're in the wrong place, Ezra Bridger. Master? Master Kenobi? I am, and when you have your strength, I will help you on your way. On my way? No, I came here to find you. To warn you. About Maul? Yes. Uh, you know? One doesn't survive as long as I have by being foolish or unprepared. <clears throat> Maul is an old adversary, and a persistent one at that. We can fight him together. I had no intention of fighting him, though that seems inevitable now. You don't understand. You're the answer. The Holocrons told me. They said you would be the one to help us destroy the Sith. Hmm. It's the first I've heard of it. The Rebellion needs you. We need you to defeat the Empire. What you need, you already have. Unfortunately, you seem to be letting it all go. But if I had what I needed... Finally at number one, we've got James Arnold Taylor. The newest one that is voice over on Kenobi is, is the Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens game. Now, he's also mostly known for the Clone Wars, as also he did voice Obi Wan Kenobi for Webbles Season 1, Episode 1, and again does Infinity 3.0. Um, but since then, he has not done it. Now, that game, The Force Awakens, was back in 2016. So, for over like at least a year now, he has not voice Obi Wan Kenobi. This is the number one guy that they should get for Battlefront 2 2017. Um, they should, because I like Obi-Wan Kenobi, and we haven't really seen much of him for a long time. So, um, yeah, don't mess this up, guys. Question, you spineless machine! <laughs> Who sent you here? Who activated this battle droid factory? If I were you, I'd be more worried about the Jedi. General Grievous! In the name of the Galactic Republic, I order you to stand down and surrender control of this facility. What makes you think I did this? You have no idea what is happening here, Jedi! Drop the lightsaber, cyborg! Come and take them, if you dare! Sir, you seem troubled. No Quinlan boss has that effect. Ah, yes. That Jedi has quite a reputation. Maybe overstating it, Cody. Let's just say he's crazy. Ship entry from the west, sir. Hey, Commander. Looking good? Kenobi, you look worse for wear. How's Temple like? Good to see you too. Yes, well, if you could tell time half as well as you could stick a landing, we wouldn't be behind schedule now, would we? Well, that's your opinion, man. Let's get down to business. Zero the Hutt was broken out during a hostage takeover. Yeah, I read the briefing about that mess. I suspect Jabba the Hutt is behind this. He still has it out for Zero over the kidnapping of his son. Well, my information indicates that Zero has damaging evidence against the Hutt Council. My guess is they've taken him to the Hutt home planet, Nal Hutta. As for this bounty hunter Cad Bane, we must capture and return both he and his quarry Zero to the courts. I trust you and I can keep eyes forward in this common goal? No problem. I owe Bane one anyway. I'll fly. You're my co-pilot. I was afraid he'd say that. So there, thank you guys so much for watching this video, um, hopefully DICE will maybe look at this video and maybe use one of the voice actors, because that would absolutely just be amazing. We don't need some guy like we don't know who's a voice actor who did like the legendary skins of Lando and also Han. Fine, but I don't know, it's just to me. I will rather hear the people from the film. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. May the force be with you. And peace guys. See ya. Looking out.